everyone. Welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. I'm Rebecca, and today is Friday. Each Friday, I go around Dallas, and I try to find all the things that are new at the Dollar Tree. This will be for the week of 2 11 I went to five stores this week, and don't forget, the new price is $1.25 unless stated otherwise. So let's go shopping. The first place we'll go is apparel and accessories. This week, they had quite a few items from different stores, like these cushy foot flats to go. I actually looked these up online, and you can find them at walmart.com and eBay, anywhere from $7.90 to $6.95 a pair. They also had this Well at Walgreens Diabetic mid cruise Socks. I found these online at the website for $6.79 for one pair. Some of them, they had them for about $9 for three pair. They also had these Therapy Plus socks and the gold top control top tights. They had them in um, this purple color in a couple different sizes and a dark navy blue. And those on the back were actually listed as $14 a pair. They also had in some of the gold toe socks, which we know range anywhere from $4 a pair all the way up to about $12 for a single pair, um, depending on which package you get or style or design of sock. They also had some of the Gildan Smart Basic socks at the Dollar Tree this week for $1.25. And I saw um, on the back, they had the old price on them for $8. Also the Ped socks, you can get these at lots of different stores and they range anywhere from $3 to $5, sometimes as much as $8 a pack depending on which store you went to and what style sock you get. Also the Mossy Oak socks. These are the sublimation socks. I also found these online at another store and they were listed at $21 for a three pack. And I saw them for as much as $10 a pair. They put out a bunch of their summer sandals and flip flops this week. They had um, a bunch with bumblebees and things that say like be positive a few different flamingos. They had the cheetah print, also the um, like palm trees, lemons, you know, all the different styles and designs for summer. And some of them had the straps on them that have the clear glitter to match. They have quite a bit of those out. They started putting out their Easter little purses, which usually go along with the bonnets that they'll put out uh, for the little girls for Easter time. And then they had those, I believe in four different colors, also, they put out some new extra large tote bags. Like, all I want is coffee and my dog. This one says she is a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She sees possibility. And then the dark blue one here says smile, shine bright, and be kind. They also had a bunch of the um, Gildan brand t-shirts. Um, these were all the um, kind of like springtime colors. They had some new like peach, pink, a periwinkle, um, they had a bunch of different uh, white, black, red, and also they still have a bunch of the different polo shirts that are $1.25, also the Gildan brand. It just depends on which store you go to, what styles and designs and sizes they have. Over in the arts and crafts this week, they had a bunch of their wreath forms and they had the circles, the squares, the wagon wheels, they had St. Patrick's Day, they had crosses, some stars, you name it, pretty much they had it. Um, even like the um, awareness ribbon, they had those, some new ribbon. This was a restock item because they had these out about a month ago is the extra wide ribbon with the lemons on it. And you can get the skinnier green and yellow ribbon. And then they had the ribbon geared towards pets for cats and dogs. And some of them had like a gold kind of shimmer pattern to it, a bunch of the burlap ribbon. They also carry that in orange now. And then they had some of the crafter square Christmas squares out. Um, I believe just a lot of late shipments. So some of the items they think they can still sell, um, especially in the craft department, even though out of season, they're going to go ahead and put those out and see what they can sell. So these were all the um, Christmas kind of themed ones. I never saw these in our area until just now. I did see some others around Christmas time, but they did just put these out. My favorite one was the gnome. I actually purchased this one. I think it's so cute. So I could use that next year. They restocked a bunch of the nautical rope. I found that at all five Dollar Trees this week and also the pearls. So they have the larger um, sizes all the way down to the small ones. So you get 80 count, 60 count, or 40 count, just depending on which size the pearls are. They also had the three pack of the glitter papers. This is the glitter paper with the adhesive back. Um, I still think it's a better buy to buy the rolls of vinyl because you get a lot more 
for the price, but if you're looking for a particular color, that will work. They also had the crafter square transfer tape in the rolls of like the vinyl, you know, kind of like the vinyl for like crickets and things like that. The large wood DIY circles. And then they had the wood ornaments that are the DIY ornaments. They had a heart, a circle, a star, and then like a framed shape. As you can see, they're about three quarters of an inch thick. They're a really nice ornament. Also, they had some chalkboards that were framed for DIY. Um, there was two different ones with the hanger on it. And again, they have the wood chalkboard stakes. I found these at two more Dollar Trees this week. They also restocked a bunch of the small mini crates and the stickers that are the little pop-up stickers in the pastel colors. They always put these out around Easter time and they come in two different sizes. They also had a bunch of like the onion grass, a lot of the greenery that they put out for the um, faux house plants. They always put those out in the springtime and they just started to stock these at most of the stores. I found them at three of the five I went to this week and just some more of their spring flowers um, that they have out in all the light pastel colors like the cattails and things like that. You can get them in the pale yellow, purple, pink, and they even had them in pale blue. I also found this DIY sticker collage poster set. You get three posters and it comes with 125 stickers. There's a couple different sheets of stickers um, so that you could do like scrapbooking and things for the baby department. Not a lot this week, just this new bandana bib that had the buffalo plaid kind of design on it. Also in health and beauty, I didn't find anything new in cosmetics this week, which was odd, but they did have some new hair care items. Like they had these smaller packs of the elastics. You get four solid colors. They had blue, black, and pink. They also had some of the scunchy brand claw clips. These are called the jaw clips and matte black and matte pink. So they had the floral design. And then also this design here with the crisscross pattern in both colors. Also, they had some large scrunchies in a gold and black that had a bit of a shimmer to it. Also, some of the um, le faux leather scrunchies. They had the large ones, but this week they actually had the three pack of the mini uh, faux leather. Also, the large scrunchie that was two-toned with the gray and black. As you can see here, it's kind of separated in half, or you can get it in black and pink. They also had some of the scrunchie brand scrunchies. This is a black one with different white floral patterns on it. Also, they had this scrunchie here. It kind of had like uh, different flower petals on it and some soft pink. Also, the solid black scrunchie. And this one was so pretty with the pale yellow, orange, and moss green. They also had some new hairbrushes for children. This has like a glitter shaker hairbrush. They had the star shaped with the unicorn and the circular one with the lemonade. So these are repeat items they had out last summer as well. And then they had these new hairbrushes with the, um, they're kind of like the vent brush and they have this really pretty rose gold cheetah pattern on the handles and you can get them in the light mint green or the black. Also, they had this Rock Deluxe Color Me Pink Hair Color and Conditioner. It says it lasts five to 15 shampoos, works best on blonde hair. I saw this on sale online from their website for $4.99, originally priced $11.99, so it's a really great buy. Over in pharmacy and personal care this week, they had the Suave Peachy Clean or Wild Milk and Honey hand soap in the large full-size bottles. Also some new Pro Silk Body Wash. They had um, this new scent. It was called Lilac Rose. You could also get the Hawaiian Mango. Those are the 24 ounce bottles. They had the spring water and the shea with cocoa butter. Also, I found this new hand soap. It's by Soapbox. It's the Sea Minerals and Blue Iris. They're the 12 ounce bottles sold at Target for $11.99. Also, they had the Bolero um, Moisture Rich Body Wash and two different scents. Also, this extra large refill bottle of hand soap. You get 56 fluid ounces of the refill bottle, which is a great buy. They have the actual pump with the hand soap there as well. The Dial Soap, they had some Christmas scents. Um, out at the store this week, they had the cedar balm and then they had some more of the foaming hand wash, like the pear scent and the fresh scent. Also, they had 
a few more of the Bolero products. They had the tea tree and aloe vera and like different facial toners and face exfoliators. They had um, one that was called papaya and mango and that was the Revive Bolero products. And they also had some geared towards men with the beard serum and some different facial moisturizers and exfoliating face wash. They had some new lotions by Yardley. I found four different um, hand lotions. They had oatmeal and almond, aloe and avocado. Also the shea butter and English lavender. And those are all a, I believe it was a 13 ounce bottle. Then they had these gold masks in these really pretty bottles. Also the rose gold peel off mask. And then they had the spa scription cucumber under eye pads. They had some new um, cooling face and body cleansing wipes. And then the clean feet, which are the exfoliating foot mask. You get three pairs of booties in the box for $1.25, which is a great buy. The fun find items, I found these extra large jumbo lip balm and finger puppets. They're mango flavor and strawberry flavor in Trolls. And then I actually looked these up online as well. I found these at walmart.com for $5.22 each. Now just $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Also, they had the Lip Smackers Matcha Latte lip balm last week i showed you guys i think it was last week they also had the boba tea so i looked these up online just to see how much these cost at another store and they were actually quite expensive i found them at a few different websites and they wanted them for about nine dollars a piece which seems a little weird to me so over in the home decor they had their glass orbs which are this these glass decorating uh balls that you can set out they had a few that looked like different like stone kind of work and then the solid black and those were all um, by the candles and things. And then I also found the glass apples again. They had them in the white, green, gold, and red. Then they put out these four little glass houses or churches. There's four different ones. They have the blessed and hope. Blessed says, name your blessings and place them here. In time, you will see that God has blessed you every day. And then the hope one has another saying on it, very similar. And then they come with these little papers, which I'll show you in a second that you can fold up and put inside they also have the two little churches with the different sayings on it like give your worries to god he will take them and make them right and again it comes with this little paper with different sayings and you can cut them apart there's actually blank ones that you can write on and put your own little things in and put those in those little houses there they also had these wood cut out houses and mason jars so there's four in all there's the two different mason jars with the foam flowers and the two house shapes with the foam flowers either at the top or bottom then they had these simply blessed wall hooks and this one says bless this house and they just have like a single metal hook also they had the laundry room um ironing boards back in with the little clips on them and there's two different ones then i found these extra large mason jars already decorated with the buffalo plaid and twine and they're the nice full size like quart size jars they brought back these candle holders with the faux cement bottoms there are four different ones with the white designs at the bottom as you can see here i'll just show a quick picture of each one of the designs at the bottom and then that little glass piece there you just lift off to put the candle in them. So those are really pretty. They had a bunch of these glass votives restocked. So it's got like a silverish gray colored one, gold, white, and an iridescent. Then I found this large plastic container. Um, it was kind of geared towards like planting flowers or whatnot. So there's no handles or anything. So I thought that was really pretty. I only found them in black. And then they also had some more of the matte gold mirrors, which were new that I showed last week. They also have them in matte black. Some of these... Uh, cutting boards here there's four in all but i only found two this week and some new magnets so these are the stretched canvas magnets i found i believe three different ones of the small stretched canvas refrigerator magnets and then they also had the ceramic ones um, with different sayings on them like bless our home and this one that says live in love and act in grace they also had this one here that says strong in the Lord. So now we'll move over into the housewares, home maintenance, storage, and organization. They put out some more of these large boxes. They come in green, rose, and gray. I love that they have a handle at the top and then the snap clip sides. They come in several different sizes. These galvanized metal flower pails, they have them in more of like a solid, flat, 
metal. As you can see, the one on the right here is what they usually look like with a little bit of like spots on them. Here's a close up so you can see that. Um, and of course, they come in two different sizes, but now they just have them in the flat, shiny silver. So they have both sizes in that. Also, the Glade um, air fresheners, they have these gel fresheners and the lemon and the floral perfection. Um, and they come in these small little containers. You just pop the top and set those out. They put these candles back out, which they had out last year, the mahogany tea, which is in the white cup here with the lid. Also, they had the salted watermelon, which was um, like a light pink color. Also, they had it in uh, the blueberry lavender, which is a very soft blue color. Or you could also get the peach skin and mint, which looked a little bit orange. Over in the kitchen and pantry aisles, they had these new snack containers. Um, they're called pack a snack and they had them in blue, pink, and red. And as you can see, they just have the little snap up lid there. Also, they had a bunch of the full size boxes of the General Mills cereals. They had the Dunkaroos, Kisses, and the Pokemon cereal. Some of the Izzy sparkling grapefruit and blackberry drinks. Also, some new Nature's Lemonade. This was an orange lemonade. Then they had this, the regular lemonade. They also had it in the pink lemonade, or you can get um, these three different flavors of the blue, strawberry, or classic, and the frosty brand, and those are the one quart size bottles. Over in the office supplies, home library, and teaching tree section, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys two of these little booklets that come with a pen and a bunch of different list pads and note, uh, like little note cards, and they had two more this week, the flowered one, and also, so that was the tropical one, the honey one here with the different bees and things. And then they also had one with the lemons. Also, they had this troll notebook with a pen, or you could get the frozen two with a pen. Then they had these inspirational notebooks that say you can on the front in blue. You got this with the pink background and then the green one here that also says you can. They brought back the um, storage containers in blue, green, orange, and pink. The pink ones at the store I found them at were already gone. These are real nice storage containers. They also had some new calculators out this week. And then the first year's pencils. They had the two packs in this week. Then they had some really neat pens. They're the stylus pens for the phone accessories. They had four different colors in all. I thought this pen was really interesting. It's got a bunch of different features on it that you can use with your phone. So it has black ink and then on the side it has a little buffer there so you can clean the screen. If you turn it a certain way, it actually works as a phone stand. You can use it as the stylus and then again just as an ink pen. And they had them in several different colors. I'm not sure how well they work, but I did find that quite interesting how many things you could do with it. Then they had these poster stickers with um, kind of looks like confetti on them. Those are the extra large stickers. Over in the party supplies, they had quite a few new items out this week. They had a bunch of the um, table arrows for weddings that say gifts, cocktails. They also have this one that says ceremony and they have another one that says reception. And they only have them in the white and silver, but they could be redone. You could just paint over them. I found some more of the plastic candy jars. These are the smaller ones. So they were on the shelf this week as opposed to the larger ones that were in the box in the center of the aisle. They also have the scalloped um, plastic containers and then these extra large um, numbers in the glitter gold. They also had them in silver and those are to put on like a cake or whatnot for different birthdays. And they had all the different numbers that you would need to put together for different birthday parties. So with the plastic party um, dish sets there, they had these new scoops in the purple and blue and a bunch of the clear um, serving bowls and things. They had them in pink, blue, and purple. So I thought that was really neat. Usually they only have clear. I've never seen them in another color, but they've got the scalloped um, container for snacks. They also have the um, bowls. They had those in all three colors. And then that slanted bowl, it almost looks like a ice bucket. Um, so I thought that was pretty neat. They actually have the large serving platters as well. Um, it just depends on which color it is, what they had out. So not all of them had all of the same pieces. So the purple seemed to have the most. 
out of all of the different color sets. And then the blue and the pink had this large square tray, which the purple did not, at least not at the store that I found them at. And then here is that one bowl in the blue. So you guys could see a close up. I thought they were really pretty. I love the colors. They're not like a gaudy color, blue or pink or purple. They actually looked pretty subdue, even though the camera, I think, made them look a little brighter than what they were. So then here is the pink tray. Also, they had some cups, but they weren't placed with the colored dishes. They were down more towards the other um, birthday items. They also had some new ombre cutlery, which I thought was so pretty. So this purple fades up to the white, and then they had the blue that fades down into the purple. So I thought that was really neat. They also had some of their springtime napkins and things that they're starting to trickle out. They have the dinner napkins and the cake napkins um, with different flowers. So pretty for springtime and you get 18 uh, two-ply napkins in each pack there. They had this one with the flowers around the outside that says be positive, and then it's all about the journey with the bike and the flowers. They had their star-shaped plates in silver and in gold, and then these really cute gift bags. I thought they were so cute. They have this extra large one. It looks like a penguin. They had a polar bear. They also had a llama and a tiger. And now we'll move over into the seasonal items this week. We'll start with the Easter items first. They have these small easels um, with the paint and the canvas boards that you can paint. They even had a gnome it says have an extra happy Easter. Um, different things with bunnies and things like that. They brought back these cutting board signs this year. And they had, again, these wood palette looking um, DIY pieces. They had an Easter egg, a bunny, and a chick. Also, these miniature ornaments, they're really just mini wood cutouts. They have the chicks. You get 14 in each bag. Then for the wood cutouts, you could also get the miniature Easter eggs. And they had carrots and bunnies. And again, you get 14 in each bag. And they had this small wood bunny cut out. It's about half an inch thick. You could also get an Easter egg. Then they had these DIY signs that say carrot patch. The bunny holding the carrot is raised up kind of like a 3D effect. The egg hunt, the letters are raised up off the back of this one. And the bunny is raised up off the back of the bunny trail. They brought back the bunnies with the happy Easter carrots below. And then a bunch of their different signs that have different Easter sayings like happy Easter egg hunt, cottontail crossing, and carrot patch. Also, they have a bunch of the DIY items. I showed you guys those. I believe it was last week. This week, they put out some of these um, flags. I think you can color them. Uh, they have different color pom-poms and pictures on each one. So they have the blue, the pink trim, or the yellow trim, and they all have a different picture that you can DIY. They also had the wreath frames in an egg shape and a bunny head. They have the miniature plush gnomes. I know they're coming out with large ones and they did come back out with the large bunnies this year, but in two different colors. And I found them at two stores. One store still had the box that they had just got, so they hadn't put them out yet. And I want to show you guys a comparison. The one on the left is from last year. The one on the right is from this year. So they are a little more narrow this year. They also have in their um, Easter hand soaps, with the chick and the bunny containers. Also, they had some Springtime Friends books. These are the board books. They had um, a couple different ones. One's called The Easter Egg Hunt. They also had this one that says, Hello Easter, and the bunnies, bunnies everywhere. And they had some new garden items like the um, plant labels. You get 10 in a pack for $1.25. They have the little packs of um, the seeds that you can plant and the bulbs, uh, a bunch of different flowers. You get three bulbs in this pack. I believe it was three to four, depending on what pack you got. Also, they have um, the miniature like peat pots, so you can do your starter kits. That's next to the potting soil. They also have these um, little wall units that you can hang on the wall to hang your garden tools, and they had some new garden uh, stake designs. They had like a tractor that says hello spring, the truck and the car that say welcome friends with the flowers on top. They had a few more of the Valentine's Day I items that are new and some restock items that they're trying to get rid of before Monday. 
the stores actually were really busy. I was surprised that people were just swarming a lot of the Valentine's Day items. They had a bunch of the eyeglass containers um, for your glasses. It had like a Valentine's Day theme, um, but people were really grabbing them up quick. So if you haven't got your Valentine's Day items, I wouldn't wait very long because it's not going to last much longer. They also had these really cute um, like candle stands in pink, red, and in white. Um, I want to say they're about five inches tall and big enough to put a pillar candle on. So I thought those were really pretty. They also restocked the heart-shaped um, like muffin tin and then the felt ribbon. It's the extra wide, like two-inch ribbon and all the different colors. They restocked the large foam hearts and the signs. So these are just stacked on top of each other. There's four different signs there. They also had some DIY craft kits that I hadn't seen till just now. This one says love and it has all the items in it that you would need to create the craft, which would make a really fun Valentine for a classroom. Um, they also had the little car that says love with all the items to decorate and some new Valentine's Day signs. So I love the rainbow look here. They've got this cupcake here that says sweet love. That's kind of like glitter around the outside, the rainbow with the clouds and also the hot air balloon. And they restocked the... Um, shelf little houses or barns. They also had this love meter sign. It's about half an inch thick or these two trucks. And those also are about a half an inch thick as you can see here from the side. Now for toys, games, and entertainment. Just a few new items this week. So they restocked these extra large pieces of the makeup blocks. These are like the uh, floor panels. They had them in yellow, which I don't remember seeing before. They also had these new balls that are filled with water and they had them in like green, blue, yellow, and one looked a little bit more golden yellow. Then you shake them up and you can see it's got like this really pretty pearlized looking uh, color inside. They have their yard tools for kids. They have the extra large shovel and the rake. And then they have a few of the um, Kung Fu Panda, I believe that's the name of the movie, The Little Characters. So those are those little plastic characters. They had quite a few of them. I believe they had four or five different characters from the movie. And now for the last section, this is the Dollar Tree Plus items, which are 3 to $5. Um, they have these Bunny Trail, Hop This Way, um, trays and the Happy Easter tray, those are $5 each. Also the DIY shadow box, which is a really nice size. These are also $5. I love this heart-shaped um, container here. It's like a little tray. Um, it's got about an inch and a half wall around the outside of the heart, which was just really pretty. They also had it in a star shape, which I thought was neat. And then you can get the large circular signs to DIY. Here's a view of it from the side. Has a nice scalloped or beveled edge there. Then they have this size sign with the rounded top. Also the chalkboard signs. This one says, welcome to the egg hunt. It's a plain chalkboard on the back. Easter bunny stop here. They have one with a blue truck. I showed that last week. They also had this six foot garland for only $3 with the Easter eggs and the wood beads. You can also get the 24 piece uh, pom poms for $3. And it is also a garland. Then they had these large bottle brush, kind of like a bottle brush tree carrot. They're about an, about a foot tall. These two plush bunny door uh, d like hangers. And then these large baskets of eggs for $3. These planters in the milk cans, those are $5. They're kind of like a medium size type. I, I was surprised they were five. I thought they were going to be three. Or you can get these large painted canvas signs. They're like an 11 by... I think it's 14 inches, and um, I believe those were all $5. And here's the last one. And that's it for today's video. I do DIY videos every Thursday. Um, if you are interested in something like that, I'd encourage you to check those out. Um, like I said, I post them every single Thursday. I try to use items mainly from Dollar Tree. So sometimes an item or a supply here or there pops in from another store. Also, I post what's new at the Dollar Tree videos every single Friday. I try to get to at least five stores in Dallas every single week. 
and combine them all into one video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I hope you guys have a great weekend and here are some other videos from our channel that you might also enjoy. Have a great one, everyone.